Mr. Lassiter uh, described Judy as a glass half full kind of bunny, and I would definitely say I am a glass half full kind of bunny. And in fact, when I when I was cast, um, I came in, and I know that Jason Bateman has a very similar story. I came in and had a plethora of voices <laughs> to supply, and it was explained to me like, no, we we cast you to be like to a certain extent. We want you to bring you to this. And, and I do feel like I understand what that means because both Judy and I are fiercely optimistic and uh, we're, we're both determined and ambitious without it being about hurting anyone else in the process. Like I've never believed that it takes stepping on anyone else to, to climb the ladder in any way. I think that it's all about teamwork and so, so does Judy. Nick Wilde is a wily fox. Uh, Judy has come to Zootopia actually equipped with some anti-fox spray, some, a mace like, like belt spray that her family gave her. And she, she believed before coming to Zootopia that she didn't have any preconceived notions about um, what other animals were like, that she could see animals equally. Um, and in fact, took the spray in order to uh, to calm the fears of her her bunny family. Um, but finds when she meets Nick that that she naturally responds because of the way that she was raised, and jumps to the conclusion that uh, Nick is sly and um, scamming and. Un Fortunately, that actually ends up being true, um, which doesn't doesn't help matters in the beginning. Nick is a Nick's a he's a con artist, and Judy finds that he is a very useful con artist, and she can very honestly and without manipulating him, but but using um, a bit of good old fashioned blackmail, finds that she can uh, elicit his help in solving a mystery. Jason Bateman is the fine gentleman who plays Nick Wilde, and it is such an honor to work with him, uh, though it's it's difficult for me because I laugh so hard when we're in the booth together that I mess up his takes, and I feel very badly about that, but he, uh, he's, he's, I mean, he's a natural genius comedian, and has such a dry wit that I think really balances out how, I mean, if you want to get technical, how sort of over-animated I am in general in life. And uh, and I think that, yeah, we play off of each other in a really, I think in a really um, good way for these characters. Except when I mess up his takes because I'm laughing too hard. Everyone keeps calling it a buddy comedy. I'm like, it's a bunny comedy. Um it's a bunny buddy comedy. It's, it's really funny. I mean, I really do have trouble. Um, I, I, I think I probably waste a lot of everybody's time laughing because it's really, really funny. The script is really funny. Um, and Jason's hysterical. And I think that th these characters together are just like, they're, they're perfectly written comedic balance, but also they're just like in all of these films, there's real heart and there's, it makes me really genuinely emotional at times. Byron Howard and Rich Moore are dream directors. Um, we just play and play and play. I mean, they're very good at setting the scene for me and uh, really staying on the playground with me. We just try different things every single take. And... Uh, yeah, they're just supportive, hilarious, cheerleading, you know, it's not, I mean, they're more than directors because they really are, like, I mean, in the booth mostly, it's, it's them and Jared the writer and me and we just all play together. It is a comedy and it is action adventure, but I mean, I cry when I read it. I think it definitely has that that, that it has that Disney heart. It has that hook. And there are so many layers of meaning that I can see how a child will enjoy it, but I am 
positive that a lot of the references for adults are going to go over their heads and mean a lot to the, to the grown-ups in the audience.